Argentina's Ministry of Security has issued a new protocol establishing how security forces will act in public demonstrations from now on. According to the minister, Patricia Bullrich, the goal is to guarantee that roadblocks, which are a traditional feature of political protests in Argentina, will not be carried on for more than five to ten minutes. This is somehow the repressive face of a government which knows that their economic policies cannot be implemented without repression. An economic plan that cuts salaries, that destroys jobs, generates social conflict, and the answer they have for that are rubber bullets in the best case scenario. Social movements have harshly criticized the government's initiative, arguing that it aims at criminalizing political protests. Milagro Sala's incarceration was the first attempt to intimidate us, the social movements, political and local movements, the unions, and now with this protocol they will try to prevent any protest. Only one day after the issuing of the new protocol, the White House confirmed U.S. President Barack Obama will visit Argentina on March 24. His visit will coincide with the 40th anniversary of the military coup that drove a U.S.-backed dictatorship to power, which is why massive demonstrations are expected on that day. He invited Obama on March 24th, so we couldn't go on with the demonstration. We have to be alert. He didn't invite him just on any other day. He invited him on March 24th, and Obama will come to see how Macri fulfills his promises. Macri is a servant of the U.S., so we have to pack this square by all means possible, even if we get hit. Social movements agree that despite the government keeps trying to control public demonstrations, the neoliberal policies implemented by Macri will continue to provoke massive protests as they harm the majority of Argentinians while favoring the wealthiest 1%. Laureano Ponce, Telesur, Buenos Aires.